inspection is a hot topic because what I've seen in the past is they're having people not do inspections, of course, to get the offer accepted. That's oh, yeah. just one of the things. Yeah, okay? of course. Um, it hurts your business and hurts their does. business when they get sued. I mean, you. But it's not if, it's when. Hi everyone, this is Dave Colosseri with Homesite Insight. Today is a very, very special day. Very special day because we have two entrepreneurs here that have just purchased, what is it, a month and a half ago? A month and a half ago. Just purchased Remax Realty 100. We have Adam Purcell and we have Jim Purcell. Welcome. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate this is, the opportunity. This is, I, I was a little on you to come in here, right? I was a little like, hey, hurry, don't forget about me. Oh, don't yeah. forget about yeah. me because um, I, I think this is, such a big step in your life. I mean, this is life changing. I mean, would you agree? Sure. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. So yes. I think of this because I knew you back when you started real estate and then you, you were with a team and then you moved up on your own and then all of a sudden, Hey, you bought Remax. How in the world does this happen? Can you explain <laughs> how does this happen? And not only that, but why, why do you want, want to do that? Okay. So, so how, how does it, how does it happen? You know what, when you get the answer to that, you can let me know. Um, you know, you know, I, I think one of the, one of the things with, with me is obviously this, you know, I've done a lot of different things in my career that brought me to this path. And yes, I was on a very successful path of, of being a, you know, a realtor mm -hmm. under the, under the Remax umbrella. Um, Jeff Benson, who's been the broker for 40 years, came to me, you know, but some time ago we started having conversations. Uh, at first, it started out, I was doing training. I was leaning into younger agents. And for me, that was very gratifying. You know, yes, it does take okay. time away from your real estate business, but I felt like I was pouring into some of the new agents. And, and I was ac actually helping people bridge, you know, from a, from a beginner to, to, to being and having their own real estate business. So um, I had started doing some of that, um, and we were presented an opportunity. I was presented an opportunity to kind of, you know, would you like to purchase or would you like to be involved in the brokerage going forward? And so a wow. couple, couple different paths uh, during that process. The negotiation was, was long because uh, there's obviously the, the brokerages, the REMAX side. There's also a title company. Right, um, right. You know, so we have, that. we have Title 100. So there were just a lot of things. And you have to know that Jeff has been a broker and he's been in this business for 40 years. Um, this is his family. You know, they don't have any children. So... You know, as you look at him, it's very personal for him, and it's very, um, it's very much his whole life. And, yeah, and while he's 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 in age, you know, growing, he he was sort of looking for an exit strategy as well. Um, at first, I was, you know, low, nope, not interested. This is not my path. I I just, you know, this is where I want to go. Um, Adam joined obviously the real estate business as well, and we started having conversations, and it kind of was well, if we if I did this, you know, would you be on board? Or I think maybe he be, he said, hey, I'll do this with you, or however that happened. I don't mm -hmm. remember the exact conversation. I wish I could tell you it was over a beer, but it really wasn't. It was over a, probably a coffee, and I was looking at one computer, and he was looking at another one. But we started having those conversations, and I felt a lot better about it. I felt like, you know, not only does it bring myself where I am in my business and my career, but it also brings uh, youth and vitality in the organization being a family business as it is today that we could continue that on and, and, and grow it. And I think the, op the opportunities are there. Um, it's immense opportunities. We have a great brand, great reputation in the marketplace. We have unbelievable agents who are super high producing, you know, three, yes, or, you four times, yes, you three or four times the, the area and state average. Um, and I just felt like, you know what, uh, this is a great opportunity, and if I can take the last part of my career and and turn it into not just being a realtor, but making a difference in people's lives and teaching them and helping them be better realtors and pointing into them and helping people find the balance. And, you know, you know, a lot of people just get so enamored with, I want to be successful, I want to sell 100 homes. You know, what are they doing to their families in the meantime? So, so I wanted to show that you can bring balance to it, you can uh, – you can pour into people and be successful. It may not be financial in your pocket every day, 
but it's looking at people and watching them be successful that makes, awesome. can make you successful. That is very awesome because you got you talk about that um, balance. We always say in our in our office here, you got to have a strong root, right? Sure. And root is family. If you have a strong root, you're going to have a healthy plant, right? If it's rotten, then you better rethink things, right? Um, and I love the father and son team. So I see this like going on a long, long, long way. Am absolutely. I wrong? No, absolutely. No, you yeah, know, and you know, the, the great part about it is, is yes, we have some similar DNA, <laughs> but we are very, very different and we are very competitive, not only with other people, but with each other as well. But, you know, we have some boundaries. We've set some boundaries for, for ourselves with our personal life when we're away from here. You know, this, this, is, this is different. This is business and this isn't blended i mean we have you know five kids and you know yes. extended family and, and grandkids too right we have yeah seven have, yeah no we have eight and the ninth eight. one is on the way oh. so um and adam's responsible for that but uh so yeah you know what it was never a vision because we were on different career paths he was adam was doing some different things and i'll let him tell you how how he kind of came into this but um it's awesome, and it's awesome to know and the rest of the family while they're not actively involved my one daughter is an agent on the team um, but the other, others aren't, but they're very supportive of the team. So we have a lot of cheerleaders out there. Good, good. And, and you're, a, um, you're a graduate from UW-Madison, correct? Correct. And then how did you get in real estate to where this is, hey, something I want to do forever? Not only that, but wow, be at, be at the, the forefront of, of four offices. Sure. Yeah, great question. Um, so first of all, you know, Jim, maybe, so I've, I've been with Remax now about a year and a half, uh, but Jim, as soon as he joined, maybe three months in, you know, he, he would be calling me weekly and just saying, Hey, this, this place is great. You would not believe the quality of organization. You wouldn't believe, you know, the, the type of people that I work with, you got to meet Jeff Benson. He, you know, he's always been, I think, uh, very impressed with Jeff. Right. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I was getting a weekly, a weekly recruiting call, right. Um, <laughs> at that time. So I, uh, I took, I had a kind of a blended corporate and entrepreneurial path. I mm -hmm. was on a corporate runway, but also I uh, did a lot of real estate investing. I owned a small business. Um, so I had my hands in a lot of things. Baking, right? Uh, yeah. No, I'm not personally not baking, but with, uh, actually with my mother, the other side of the family, um, I took care of the business end of it while my corporate career was moving on. Eventually we had to build out a new facility and I decided I, you know, I had done both for what, seven or eight years. And I'm like, I was traveling over the world for my corporate job. And I just decided oh, that's hard. Yeah, it was, it was, you know, every week I was gone somewhere, right. Uh, or every other week I'd be gone for a week. Wasn't my cup of tea. Didn't want to travel that much unless it was for, you know, for leisure, uh, which, which it wasn't, you know, hard, hard sure. work. Um, so I decided, you know, I want to go down the entrepreneurial path where I can, you know, be home, you know, m most of my time anyways with my family. So went down that path. Um, in the meantime, you know, Jim is uh, cheering on Remax. Um, and finally, you know, I guess what a year and a half ago, I'm like, even he was, I was, I was really close. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna get my license. I'm gonna get my license. I'm gonna spend, I wasn't committed to it yet. I spent three months. I'll put my in toe it. in it. I did. I did because, you know, it, I, I was at the point where I wasn't gonna do something part time. I wasn't gonna dabble. And I was ready to make the long term decision, right? I was right. ready to, to pour myself into something. Um, this came up. You know, I, I spent about three months at the office. I absolutely loved it. I can tell you, um, hands down, the 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 way that Remax Realty 100 is run, um, even with all my corporate backgrounds, huge multi-billion-dollar multinational companies, mm -hmm. it's run at that level, right? So the quality of organization immediately struck a chord with me, and I'm like, I, I get it, I understood, right? Right. Um, now, of course, at that time, the the purchase wasn't um, on the on the horizon, at least that that I knew about. Um, but certainly, I was just an agent, right? So, um, I, which I was really enjoying. I had uh, invested in a lot of real estate before. I like. You know, I like deal making. I like strategy. Um, you know, I, I like coming up with solutions to complex problems, all things you have to be able to do in, in real estate. Sure, sure. So it was a perfect match. Um, so I was, you know, working with buyers, sellers, building my business. And then uh, early and maybe four or five months in, uh, you know, him and I were talking about this opportunity with for the purchase, um, you know, and I looked through the due diligence packet, which you can imagine was hundreds of yes. pages long. Um, but I, I got through it. I'm like, this makes sense. It, you know, it, it, we knew how well the business was run um, and and seeing, you know, the, the back office and how everything works. This makes sense. Of course, there's always opportunity for improvement, which we were um, that, of course. that energized of course. us. We, yeah. were we were motivated by that um, because certainly we you know, there's some things that the Remax corporate in Denver 
has and does already that let's just say hasn't necessarily flowed into this market yet that will. And we saw that opportunity uh, last year. We went to the R4, the National Remax Convention yes. in, in Vegas. Mm-hmm. And that I would say that was February. So five months after I joined and I'm like, I am in the right place. I I, I know. What really? To, oh, yeah. Yeah. I was like, I, I know I saw the quality of people, the training. I was like, I know what to do. With I'm this. on board. Let's rock and roll. Yeah. So 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 here we are six so, months after the purchase. Did you feel better that he was with you or did he feel better that you were with him? <laughs> yeah, I'll let him, I'll let him answer. I think it's a pretty obvious answer. Yeah. yeah, I felt better that he was here with me. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's just because it's, it's yes, you know, it's the Jeff and Kathy Martello, who's a, just real estate knowledge. She's just an amazing woman. And, and, and she, she, she's such a wealth of knowledge and such a balance and such a, a great personality and a perspective of caring about people and his passion as well. But she will tell you and guide us all to, to the right path. I mean, she's a, she's a legal knowledge person. So, Right. You know, and I just looked at that as like there's the two of them, right? Mm-hmm. And this this is a big organization. There's a lot of moving yes. parts, and um, you know, it I, gives me a headache I, thinking about it. Yeah, it, sh- it and, should. <laughs> it, it should. And, and you know what? We're, we 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 spend some time, but because of the people who are involved, not only the people who are internally to the office, but all the agents as well. You know, we we've just been um, um, totally. Uh, enamored with how many people have come to us, called us, sent cards, left cookies on our desk. This is amazing. We can't wait to move forward with you. And you know, because they, they that's great support. Well, you know, they're very passionate for Jeff, and they have relationships with Jeff. But I think they know that Jeff's not going to be there forever. And I had leaned into the organization enough to where people, for the most part, most knew who I was or had mm-hmm. heard of, of me or done training with me, and uh, it, it was very welcoming. But um, to do it yourself. Um, Jeff didn't do it him, himself. I mean, he had partners along the way in sure, different paths. Sure, he did. Uh, you know, Bruce Martin and a couple of other people. And Gary. Gary, Gary, uh, Gary, Gerhardt out of uh, Brookfield. So he had had some partners through through that, and he still leaned into those some of those people mm-hmm. and, their, and their kids or who are now agents and some other things. So I just knew that doing it, doing it, I was very apprehensive about doing it any other way. And then when the option came and the, and the conversation started happening, it just made more sense for me, and it made it. Right. It, it kind of turned the light from yellow to green, and obviously, you know, we had a lot of things that we needed to cover along the way to make sure that, hey, we're both on the same path. We both think the same way about the core values, where we're taking this to, how we get there. I think there's, you know, there's, there's, you know, opportunities, different avenues, different avenues. But it's amazing as you've seen all of us connect. It's you would think that it would be me with the older agents and and Adam with the younger ones, but it's really. It, it's really kind of all over the yeah. board because personalities are more important than, than age and sure. generation. So I'm, I, I see him talking with people that I'm like, wow, he has a great relationship. I've never had, to ha- had that with him before. And, and then I have with the youngers because I've been training all the new agents for, for quite some time. So I've leaned in and I started doing that a while ago. And, it, you know, um, I can tell you it's a lot of prep. It's a lot of time away from your own business. But man, when you see them have their first accepted offer, their second one, and you see them put things together, it just uh, it's it's pretty rewarding. And yeah, so it is. it's a shift gear for me from being, you know, I went, I you know, I've done a lot of companies and owned a lot. I've always been an entrepreneur, and I've had a lot of employees, poured in a lot of people, created a lot of jobs, and also when you when you have employees, you know, there's certain things that come with that. So I'd been away from that for a while, but coming back into this with the agents and seeing them as independent contractors. And their drive, their passion for what they're doing and being committed to it, um, it just reignited me to, okay, how can I pour into you? Yes, I may not have been a real estate person for 40 years, but I can tell you blocking and tackling legal contracts and all of those things, putting all these great minds together is important. And I think one of the huge differences, in the, well, I don't even know if it's a difference because I haven't been in any other real estate organization, but there are no silos. You know, when someone's standing behind you, you don't have to turn your computer screen off because you're doing a listing somewhere and it has the address. And everybody uh, helps yeah. everyone. Like, right? like in the movies, somebody's stealing my yeah. work. Yeah. Every, everybody helps <laughs> everyone. There's some places locally that operate yeah. like that. We know it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we yeah. Know it. Everyone helps everyone. And the, the older agents are, are rolling into and helping the younger agents. And we think that there's, there's a lot of opportunities. We think one of the biggest ones is, is, is for our, our older agents to have an opportunity to partner with younger agents as they transition their business and be able to get referrals and be able to, to get some kind of a, a retirement reward for their for their database, that's huge. 
sure. for many, many, you know, Jean Jean, the selling machine. She's 80 some years old. Still yes. Doing it. Yes. Yes. Jean Jean, Jean, Jean the selling machine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She really is. And, you know, a couple Jean listings this week. She's got two listings this week. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, partnering her with a younger agent and making them together that, that even when Jean goes, her legacy continues. So we're trying to find ways to do that. And uh, it's just, it's awesome. The market's moving quickly yeah, crazy. you know to, to yeah everyone uses the word crazy and i think we, I we've tried it. <laughs> well you know what this is the new normal. Oh, this, like it's never yeah. like i've never seen it yeah this is the new normal this today's normal this is normal for what yeah. we have to deal with yeah. right now we can say it's crazy it's chaos it's maddening it's all the other things but you know what if you can't flex into the time we're in and flex back out of it again because right. it's not going to always be this way um, well that's what makes people successful is they I mean, stuff gets thrown at them, and if you're if you're the top five percent, you're going to be able to flex and move and and succeed however you have to. So um, a month and a half later, right? You're in it, S still. It's like I didn't make a mistake, right? No, oh, couldn't be it's happier. A, okay, great. Yeah. Can you can you either of you can you share your vision for what you're thinking Remax to be later, or do you have a different vision as to what it is now? Sure. I mean, I think, let, yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, number one, we're going to, we're, we're incredibly well known for performance, right? The mm -hmm. whole, the whole model is based on performance first, which leads to two things. Number one, um, our agents make more money, which gives them the ability to live the life they want and take care of their families. And number two, uh, more touch points in the marketplace. They're doing more transactions. They're better um, facilitated to serve their clients, right? The more deals you are doing, the more knowledge you are, not knowledgeable you are about the circumstances of the market and also all the intricacies of every deal, which which are complicated. Right. So that is not going away. As a matter of fact, as of yesterday, we were just um, Real Trends Top 500. You know, we're, we're a member of the top 500 largest, largest brokerages in the country. Of all brands. Of all brands, okay. correct. Uh, we were number, ranked number 38 in the entire country for transactions per, sides per agent, which is 19.4. So on a national level, we're the 38th best brokerage in the country for how many transactions our agents do awesome. uh, on an annual basis awesome. so we're and, and that I'll, I'll be honest with you dave it's incredibly well-run organization but we bought the place because of performance right jim and i uh, we don't mess around when it comes to performance we we're winners we expect to win we will win we want our agents to win we okay. want their families to win. we want their clients to win um so that will, will that will be the main tenet of of, of what we do um i will tell you um you know jeff very humble guy mm -hmm. um the marketplace is very competitive today and and we are going to be a little bit more public with with all the amazing things that we have going on the good thing yes okay. what the vision is you know quite frankly most of what we want to do is already in place you just we just don't talk about it right we we, we it's you don't of, brag about it yeah and, and not that and we're gonna humbly brag about what you have we just well exactly and what's interesting for us is you know uh occasionally occasionally you know you lose a person or two and it's interesting because you look at the value proposition, it's not even close. And the difference is, you know, there's a lot of people out there talking, right, about right. New, new shiny objects. But at the end of the day, um, you know, one of the things that we'll talk to you about today, since 2018, we've been fully cloud-based organization. Since 2018, our agents have never had to come into the office. Many of them haven't been there in and years. And we're paperless. And we're 100% paperless. But it's interesting. You would never know that, right? right. Because, you know, we don't we'll promote talk it. about it. Yeah, we don't and talk about it. And I don't ask. It. It, yeah, it, that, exactly. <laughs> and most people don't, right? And, right. Um, so, so it's interesting, you know. So uh, we will continue to rely on, on the performance 100% because at the end of the day, we know our agents are, on average, are significantly more successful, somewhere two to three times than the average agent in the metro Milwaukee area. So just by osmosis, if you're a part of our organization, you are going to do better. That's just, you know, because you're surrounded by folks who, who are incredibly successful. Um, we're going to start to, you know, promote ourselves a little bit more humbly, of course. Um, and we're going to double the business. You know, right now we have about 150 agents. We're going to take it to 300. So, and the reason we want to do that is, you know, uh, there's a lot of investments that we want to make mm -hmm. in, in into the business. Yes. Um, one of them is in our facilities, quite frankly. And, you know, we, we know there's an anti-office, blah, 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 right? Right, right. But we know what those what the performance metrics of those anti-office companies look like. And they're horrible. I mean, you, you can't afford to survive, right? So we know we have the right model, but we need, you know, we want to grow our business so we have a larger revenue pool to really make the investments in our brick and mortar locations. You know, I know that this is make someone's head blow off today because they just can't believe you're going to invest in brick and mortar. Uh, but we absolutely are because we know our folks who are at the office there are top, there are top producers. Yes, yes. It's culture, right? Like yes. so, so. And what do people do when they, when they work at home? 
Nothing. Like you said, you said <laughs> yeah. they yeah. cut the grass. They're like, oh, it's 15 minutes. Now it's a half hour. It's oh, like yeah. Yeah. you need a place to come to work. Yeah, I agree. Dave, but you know what the biggest thing is? The thing they're not getting, especially for newer agents, five years younger mm-hmm. in the business. What what happened? They're not at the office, so they're not they're not at the water cooler, right? They're not having a coffee. Everyone has questions. They're not an, they're not getting answers to those questions because they're not at the office rubbing elbows with folks. Right. That goes on a month, three months, six months, nine months, a year. Now all of a sudden, their their growth in that business has been significantly stunted because they didn't get any of their questions asked because they're not around the people that are doing all the business, yeah. right? And that is the biggest component of our office culture. And like Jim said, um, collaboration is one of our main yeah. values. We are collaborating, right? And what's interesting, you know, I will. I, the bottom line is this: our most successful agents, the ones pulling down huge amounts of transactions and, and annual income, they're the ones who share the most. It's it's part of the DNA of our company, and our thing is if if you're a younger agent or, or um, you know in the business, young I mean as far as far as experience, if you lean into these folks who are willing to share, which is what our culture is all about, mm-hmm. I mean you're you by default are going to do very well, you know, and and so that's really our value proposition, you know, it's performance, collaboration, and that we already have some some incredible things to offer. Um, you know, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. When people work at home in the real estate business, I'd like to ask them, where's your resource library? Our resource library is anybody who's in the office, anybody who's here, anybody who have a question. Sure. You're in this competitive market. You know, we're live. We we're, we have things going on. And, you know, you 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 can't grow by yourself. You just oh, can't, I agree. You, you can't do it. You actually you well, you become successful by hanging around people who are successful. Yeah, yeah it's exactly um, that's right. just networking. The way it is. So, so think about networking two ways. Think about it internalized networking with other agents within our office. Mm-hmm. We have 132 agents that have more listings than anyone else on an, on, an, on a percentage of of total transactions to to, to listings. Mm-hmm. They have more. So if you're around those 132 agents who have more listings, you have more access to those people. You have a better relationship. Think about your business. You know, now you go external to that, and now. What you're saying is, is that as you go to events, whether it's a GMAR, whether it's a baseball game, the golf outing, or wherever, I meet Dave. Dave meets me. I meet, you know, agents from all the other brokerages. When I have offers going back and forth that they do, it's a person. It's a. It's a. It's. It's somebody who I have a relationship with. I can trust to get this transaction over the finish line. Absolutely. And you know what does that mean? And so, so if we have these all these listings. And our people are, are available and they're around. They hear and they know about the listings and they know what's going on and they have relationships with those listing agents. It just helps you a lot getting offers and, and transactions accepted. And, and so as you look at, um, as I look, look at all of this, and, and Adam says this way better than I'm going to say this. I'll probably butcher it here. But everyone else <laughs> is in a race to the right. bottom. Okay. They're in a race to the bottom. Let me show you my fees. And the first thing they show is fees, quality of life, and 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 some things about profit sharing and all the other stuff, okay? Our thing is we're in a race to the top. That's true. We want our agents to have the most transactions, the highest dollar transactions that they can, they, that they can possibly have with, with, uh, you know, hit, with all of the other ancillary things and provide one of the things that, you know, Jeff's done great things. As Adam said, he's pretty humble. We have not talked about the value proposition. What do you get from this from us, and what do you get from them? Yeah, and I was saying, where are those? Let at? me step in there because the the biggest difference I will tell you that everyone training, 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 blah blah blah. Right? We have an incredible training program. We use the the Velocity Training Series from Vera Workman. It's outstanding. Brian Buffini's program. If, if you come into the to. business, it will tell you here's what you need to do to be a successful real estate agent foundational but then there's a tactical side of the business you start actually listing homes you start actually writing offers okay and that is where we really shine we have seven days a week 24 hour service for for our agents um you know like jim said any new agent that comes in year two years anytime they call us we are going to tactically tell them what they need to do to give them the best the best chance of getting that offer accepted or getting the best uh, accepted offer for their seller, right? So, so the training is great, but at the end of the day, the ongoing support day to day within while you have deals going on, that is really where we shine. And, and you know, that is one of the, Jim and I really enjoy that, right? Like that's one of the things we're most passionate about uh, is the actual day to day strategic deal making Call us anytime, and we are going to tell you exactly what you need to do 
uh, to give yourself the best chance to be successful, right? And that's that's different. You know, it's not this shiny presentation I show you one time. You're never going to be able to get a hold of me on a Saturday because I'm right, golfing. Right. Totally opposite. I get a call on Saturday. I drop everything. We answer the call. Right. Awesome. That level of support uh, is not normal. Right? right. And and that is one of one of the biggest reasons our agents, you know, triple the average production is because of that. When when times are tough and there's 15 other offers and you need to get that accepted, you are going to get everything you possibly need to for for you to get that deal done. So the thought process in the past, Remax Realty Real 100 is, you know, for top seasoned agents. They're the best of the best of the best. Uh, now it's like we welcome all and we'll make you better. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I mean, yeah, we've, we've developed over the last, you know, 12 to 18 months an onboarding program that, that is for new agents. And we haven't really done a significant job of promoting that to this mm -hmm. point, but that will be something that we will, we will be doing going forward because there's tons of people who are in corporate America right now, Adam being a perfect example of that, who, who are sick and tired of the travel, sick and tired of corporate America saying, Next month's PL, next month's PL, you got to do this, you got to yeah, do yeah. that, you got to do this, and want to be entrepreneurs but don't have an avenue to do that. So, so we are going to add uh, people in. We are going to be uh, investing in people who we think are, 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 have the right personality, the right character, and the right uh, dedication to starting a real estate business. We are going to help those people. Correct. Watch. And we've had some very good success stories in over the really last two years. New agents starting non-team members as individual agents and, and capping out their first and second years, which to us, I mean, that's, you know, that, that's the gold standard, right? Right, um, right. It, Absolutely. It, it's exciting for us to see that happening. I can think of five right now uh, who are, you're doing exceptionally well, new to the business. Uh, and and you, quite honestly, we talk to them probably four or five times a week, right? And we were doing that before we purchased the business because we, like Jim mentioned, we've, we've been very engaged uh, mm -hmm. and we're very, we've been passionate about the business, even with under. Jeff, Spen Jeff Benson's ownership. But yeah, I would say, you know, we're going to continue to be the home of top producer, right? That's that, that is the, the, um, the foundational, um, you know, vibe at Remax is that, you know, people who do a lot of business tend to be there, but I look, there's no better place to start your career than Remax. Where would you want to start? That's your, what I'm getting hey, at. Where, That's would, what I'm where getting would you want to start your career? A place where the folks are doing five to seven transactions a year or 19? Where do you think your odds of success are better at? Yeah. 19, right? Yeah, it's, it's, it, if you if you go to what this thing is, is all about, and it, of course, it's not just about the money, it's about sustainability. And it's about you have to make enough money to survive, right? right? And to be able to make the investment, like just like we want to make investments in our business and our, and our brick and mortar, our agents want to make investments in their businesses as well. Well, guess what? You need revenue to do that. And every great business, you know it, is, is built on great revenue stream, right? Revenue is always first. You know, you, you can't save what you what you don't make. That's just the reality. Um, and, and that for us is just, is just huge. So we know when we bring in new people, which which we do commonly, um, you know, they're they're by osmosis, their likelihood of success is is, is significant. Right. And we're going to certainly do. I tell you what, if they aren't successful, it won't be due to lack of anything that we do, because uh, anything they need, if they lean in, they're going to get it 100 percent. Well, that's the thing. Um, and, and I know we're running a little bit long here, but. Success, everybody has a different definition for success because when I used to do presentations at offices before COVID and I, the first question um, out of my mouth was, who's the best agent here? And they'd be like, you know, and <laughs> yeah. I'm like, if you don't believe you're the absolute best at what you're doing, yeah. how are you going to convince your client that you're the best? Sure. You know, it's, it all starts there. So um, success. And another question I would ask them is, are you in it to win it? And everybody raises their hand, but they're in it to win it definition is different as well. It may be like, well, I'll do a little bit on the weekend. And I know you have, it has to become you. Yeah. You, ha you and your business have to be one. Especially starting. Yes. You know, you can take this thing five years, 10 years, 15 years down the road. You can take it wherever you want. You can park your business and you do, and, and, and do want, 20 yeah. transactions a year, but you got to earn it. You, that's, you know, because you, you and I know. And the the most the business is going to the people that are fully engaged, right? right. That are in the market, yep. talking to making people, it happen. Yeah, making themselves extremely visible. Mm -hmm. And you can live on now if you do the right things. If you follow the protocol and you follow the marketing systems, you can live off your your past successes. But that's the other thing is, you know, a lot of your your business today isn't necessarily going to feed you tomorrow if you are not doing the right things with your the database. Funnel pull. 
Absolutely. Things yeah. don't happen to you, they happen because of you. And, yeah, you know, yeah. one of the things <laughs> yes. that we need to focus home on is, is, and Adam said this, for 2018, you know, since then, we, we've been paperless, we've been this. You know, everyone has a misnomer that our technology is where it isn't where the technology needs to be. And I can tell you we've had two recent acquisitions to, to the company, uh, one from the number one brokerage in, in the area and one from number two. And both of them said our technology blows the other people away. But the problem is we don't talk about it, we don't share it, we don't show it. Because we've, we've been in this performance mode, if you will, yeah. where only the best come here and perceive that. Even when I got into this business, Remax was perceived here, and, I, and it wasn't my entry path. At least I didn't yeah. think it was. And I had an opportunity because someone saw something in me that was besides my real estate experience. They looked at my life experience, my sphere of influence, and kind of my personality and said, hey, if he's done these things, he's going to be very successful here. So that's the same thing that we're going to do. We're going to go out there. Right. We're, we're, you know, we, they have to be passionate about, about coming into the real estate business, Absolutely. committed to doing it full time, and uh, we will create the paths for that's, people's success. I, I couldn't say it better. Jim, Adam, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for I really us. appreciate you spending. I know you guys are like busy, busy, busy carving just a couple minutes out to talk about this great thing that's happened to you guys. Um, and again, it's happened because of you, not to you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, right. So um, again, I appreciate you being here. I wish you the best of luck. I, I don't know if you really need it because I can see the passion in both your eyes. Um, we'll make our own luck. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But um, yes, uh, Remax Realty 100, three offices, Hales Corners, Greenfield, Brookfield. Um, new regime right here, and it looks like it's going nowhere but up. So thanks for listening, and have a great day.